Hi YouTube, Kaskari here, and um, this video I just wanted to introduce myself, who I am, why I'm doing this, what I do, um, what kind of shit I'm into, so I guess we'll start there. Um, I'm a 44 year old client lifecycle architect or business architect responsible for a 100 year old company uh, out of Shell, Connecticut. I've been working for the company for nine years. I started as a temporary contractor and much like a lot of people that end up in in a self-made uh, situation like myself, I clawed my way up. I learned, I put in a lot of work and I got to a spot where I could finally say my wife and I are comfortable. Oh, I'm a family man. I have one son who passed away to complications from cerebral palsy he actually had his 22nd birthday yesterday so we're up north um, closer to around where he's buried so that we could celebrate privately with him yesterday um, at, at the cemetery and just spend a couple extra days at our camper um, we have a permanent site when you get to a job with a lot of stress I can't even begin to tell you how important it is to get yourself a place where you can just hide and relax and get away from it all. Like the internet up here is shit, which is unfortunate because my wife and I both are gamers. But at the same time, it's great to disconnect and just, you know, smell clean air and be away from it all. So that's what we do. Um, in terms of life, I started out, you know, poor family. Um, you know, getting those white white and black labeled boxes from welfare every so often. And, you know, graduated from high school, mediocre. Didn't excel at anything, really. I just, I had a business sense. Um, and I like computers. And that was that. I didn't go to school afterwards till I was 35 years old, right around in there. Um I work factory to factory, got drunk all the time, and really just didn't care about much of anything. Um, when I was 23, my son was born, and he had his complications, and then he had uh, cerebral palsy from that, and he essentially changed my life. So, you know, at first I still partied and things like that, but I met my wife, and between the combination of meeting her, her kids, and then my son it just something clicked that I needed to do more so I started working hard and got to where I am today uh, things I like to do so I'm sitting on my four-wheeler it's one of my favorite things to do riding uh, I call it trail therapy it's good for you um, it, it helps take your mind off things and it gives you a sense of freedom while you're doing it so definitely if you've been thinking about it um, maybe start off with a rental or something like that and then go to it um i found that i loved it the minute i sat on it so i had to have it and that's what we did and now i'm out here in the middle of the woods ranting rambling on and on and sitting on it um i like playing video games uh, final fantasy 14 world of warcraft i did love world of warcraft and in some ways i still do i just the direction the game is going and the direction my place that are going are two really different things. I want a world that I can be immersed in that's relevant and World of Warcraft is, you know, predominantly we create this big, huge, vast world, but we only want you to care about it until you hit end game, and then we want you to live your life doing chores and stuff like that. It's not really a way to do it, so I feel less inclined to play it lately. I'm um, going to play Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, first person shooters casually uh, that's really about it in terms of gameplay um, I also do a lot of metal detecting I love metal detecting um, you could just go somewhere random and you could just find out information about a site it's kind of like archaeology a little bit um, for me it's not so much finding like gold or silver or anything like that um, you know obviously that'd be nice but I just like it's interesting what I pull out of the ground and then you take that and kind of look at you know what really happened in this area 
you know, when, when this stuff was dropped, you know, why was it dropped and, and how did I find it? All those kinds of things. So it's pretty cool. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is what I expect out of my channel, out of YouTube. And really that's honestly nothing. I'm doing this because someday I'm going to be dead and gone. And I want to leave behind something that people can see how I lived. Um, see the things I did, things I enjoyed, things that irritated me. And be like, wow, Kaskari or Tim was really a person and they really did these things. And really that's what it's about for me. I mean, anything that I would get in terms of, you know, if I ever get enough subscribers or views or whatever it takes to become monetized, I probably would just donate that. Um, I don't plan on putting any kind of a donate uh, button or anything like that on my channel if anyone wants to donate honestly i'd rather you pick a charity of your choice and donate on behalf of my deceased son austin shrimp um or donate on behalf of yourselves but i'm i'm not looking for any money out of this or any notoriety popularity anything like that i already have a comfortable life i have a comfortable income i have a great family um, i have things that i love to do i have people that i love and Really, that's all there is to it. So, um, if you enjoy the channel, you enjoy the content, by all means, subscribe. You can hit the bell if you want to see when I'm putting things out. Um, I do plan to create videos on metal detecting, cooking, all kinds of crazy shit. Um, as soon as I figure out how I can do business-related content without um, bumping up against my job, then I'll do that as well. So... There you have it. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you everyone for the views so far and the subscribers. And I look forward to making more content for you. Have a great day, y'all.